What is up everybody? Zach from Zach's Hockey Box here. And today, uh, we hit up some targets. We got, uh, we went to a couple targets and we found some hockey products for the first time in a while. Um, I haven't been able to find some extended series stuff, some retail extended series, but since we have the whole entire Young Gun set of that, I haven't really been buying that, so we haven't opened a lot of the retail stuff. But, uh, today we hit up a couple targets. They had more than just extended series, which is awesome. So let's, let's show you guys what we got. We got stuff we haven't seen in a while. We got a 2020-2021 tin. So we got that, we got a 2020-2021 Series 2 Blaster, and then we got a couple of uh, Metal Universe Blasters, which you can get autos apparently out of these. I didn't know you can get autos out of it. I'm sure they're not exactly super easy to pull, but they have the odds right there on the sides if you guys want to read that real quick. But yeah, no, uh, we got these, and let's go ahead and open, you know, you know what, let's not open here. We've opened inside a lot, it's starting to get nice out, let's let's go head over onto uh, to a better, a better backdrop for this. Alright guys, so here we are. We are outside of uh, Wrigley Field. Uh, right behind us is Wrigley. And we're gonna open up some stuff. We did replace uh, the Series 2 tin with uh, some Allure Blasters. So we got two of those we're gonna open up. We found out at another Target. So pretty much everything we got here we got from a Target. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and open this up and see what we got. It is a little windy, so I'm hoping you guys can actually hear me over the wind. And that is why the camera's shaking a little bit. So if you guys are wondering what's going on there, that is that is the situation. I did pick up a, a Derek Jeter jersey for the New York Yankees. Uh, one of the local shops over here, that was kind of cool. It was on clearance, so I was pretty happy about that. So we got ourselves five packs of Lure out of the first blaster. And again, with it being so windy, I'm going to try and hunker down right here in this corner <laughs> so nothing gets blown away. But yeah, uh, I didn't expect it to be so windy when I decided to come outside to film. I thought it'd be kind of fun to go into uh, some other areas. We got ourselves a what's that? Palo Franco's. We got ourselves a John Carlson. We got ourselves a red parallel of Morgan Geeky. So pulling a lot of his cards. So red rainbow Morgan Geeky. Oh, we got ourselves a Alex Brazil. This is the leopard, which you get. I think you get a certain amount of these per box. I think it was like every pack has one. But yeah, these are the leopard print cards. Nice rookie leopard print. And a Shane Bowers. Yeah, I want to say it was... It says something on the bottom. Here we go. Yeah, five. So you get one in every pack, these leopard print ones. Uh, which is kind of cool. So I guess that's replacing the yellow taxi this year. So if you don't get a yellow taxi, one per box, you just get five leopard print cards now. There's a big thing, because I did that uh, baseball break. If you guys didn't watch us on Instagram, I showed a picture of it. I did a baseball break for... Um, Dempster, uh, the, the old pitcher for the Cubs, Dempster, he has a, a charity foundation where he did a, a hundred fifty dollars buy-in for a case break of uh, 2021 Panini Prism Baseball. So we did that, and uh, yeah, they had a lot of leopard print pulls in that one as well. We got ourselves a Dylan Strom. We got, ooh, nice, City Selly card of Jake Gensel. Okay, I do like those cards. Let me turn around so I can see a little bit better. I do like this. Okay, the Silly Sellies are pretty cool. Those are pretty neat. We got ourselves a Steven Stamkos Leopard and a Thomas Shabbat base. I don't know what the odds are of pulling anything like ridiculously good out of this are. You can get autos, but they're like one every like 1400 packs. So I doubt we'll get an auto. But hey, it's cool to still open up some Allure Blasters. Again, I try to open up a little bit of everything that comes out. So when I saw this stuff for retail, uh, I decided, you know what, we're going to do a retail video outside of Wrigley Field. We got ourselves a Kiki Handel, we got ourselves a Liam Foodie, oh, we got a high-end Mikhail Bergeron, Bergeron. Uh, so uh, the SP short print of the rookie goaltender for the Winnipeg Jets. We got ourselves an Alexander Barkov, Black Rainbow. We got a Leopard of Anders Lee and a Matthew Barzell. So again, hopefully you guys can see all this already. This wind is uh, very, very loud and very strong. There was no wind when I was walking over here. It drizzled a little bit, so I hit up a couple stores before I headed over here uh, to wait for the rain to stop. The rain stopped and uh, the wind came with it. So we have got quite a bit of rain, or quite a bit of rain, wind now. Victor Olsen, we got ourselves, and it looks like a Brad Marchand. We got ourselves, it looks like a Tyler Sagan there. Ooh, we've got a Thomas Harley rookie. Our leopard of it looks like Victor Soderstrom, rookie, nice, and a Nick Robertson base. I do like the Allure cards. I think they look nice. 
for base cards. I think they're pretty neat uh, to definitely, definitely do, sorry, do some more alert, I'm sure, throughout the time uh, this set is out. Now, Tyler Benson, we did pick up a box of Okichi Platinum, Connor, McDa uh, Connor Hellebuck, of uh, this year's Platinum. So we picked up one from last year, one from this year. So Wednesday, uh, next Wednesday's video will be last year's Opeachy Platinum. And then we'll go into uh, this year's Opeachy Platinum that Friday after. Ooh, a nice PC hit. Oh, another strong win. Andre Vasilevsky, Leopard. And got a Matthew Kachuk. So yeah, so we will be opening up uh, both last year's and this year's Opeachy Platinum to see if, uh, show you guys a little bit of both this year's and last year's stuff so you guys can get a feel of that. Even though I know we've opened up a decent amount of last year's Opeachy Platinum on the channel. It's a nice little refresher. And just in case you're wondering, I am sitting like right by the street, so you might hear some trucks. You guys get a, a taste of the city of Chicago right now with this video. All right, so second blaster of Allure. Then we'll open up that Series 2 blaster, and then we will jump into the Metal Universe where we can get some autos. So I'm hoping we can pull an auto out of that. Yeah, no, for 30 bucks, if you can pull an auto out of a Metal Universe or even like a Capril Caprizov rookie or a Alexis Lafreniere, it's definitely worth it because uh, for 30 bucks, that, that's pretty much what the cards are going for right now. Charlie Kravtsov rookie. Yeah, is that a Conor McDavid? Nope, Ty Tyler Benson rookie leopard print and Kyle Palmieri. It's kind of weird they put a leopard print in every pack, so I don't know. That's kind of weird. Definitely makes them not as. Uh, rare and it's cool to pull when you get one every pack. It'd be nicer if it was like one per box. We got ourselves a Alex the Brinket. We got ourselves a Kill Makar. Sorry, trying to hold on to him because I can't put him down. We got ourselves a short print of Ryan McLeod. We got ourselves a Diagnostics of Brent Burns, it looks like. We got ourselves a Lever print of Connor Hellebuck and we got a rookie of Josh Norris. Well, I'm excited to see this year. Like I said, Ottawa is definitely one of those teams. I am uh, very excited to see this year. Let's see what Ottawa can do. Into our next pack here. Honestly, with the way the wind is, maybe we'll open up this blaster back at the at the apartment here, or the studio, should I say? Boom Byram rookie. We got ourselves a Sidney Crosby base. What is that? We got ourselves a Dustin Brown base. Black Rainbow of Dustin Brown. A Leopard of Jake Gensel, and a Patrick King. But yeah, we might open up that, that Series 2 Blaster back at the apartment just so we can uh, get out of the wind here. Just so hopefully the video, you guys can actually hear everything going on right now. So maybe the Metal Universe will be done back there as well. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling after I'm done there. Nicholas Brodin. We got ourselves a Brady Kachuk. We got a short print of Josh Norris. Ooh, nice. We got a Red Prism. Red Rainbow, sorry. of Timothy Lilligren. Nice one. That's a nice hit. We got ourselves so that Pecorino Leopard. Nice. I am happy with that one. And the Zaparisa. So two hit, two PCs right there. We got a base Pecorino and a Leopard print Pecorino. I will take those. Get in there. Okay. So last pack of Allure. Then we'll jump back over to the studio and finish off the rest of these blasters for you guys. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this little outdoor experience of getting bulk in. We got ourselves carry price. We got a die cut card here. We got ourselves a Timothy Lilligren, and we got an orange slice, it looks like, of Connor McMichael. Nice. It is weird these aren't numbered this year. That was kind of weird. But yeah, nice. I'll take the that one as well. Pavel Francois, Rookie Leopard, and a Nick Suzuki. So yeah. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the studio and finish off this Metal Universe and Series 2 Blaster. Let's see if we can get some of those autos out of this product. Hopefully you guys, like I said, again, enjoyed the quick little shot here of Wrigley. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the rest of these blasters. All right, guys, so we're back in the studio here. Uh, so I did watch the video on the way back over here. Audio sounds good, uh, at least good enough. So uh, we could have probably finished it out there, but you know, I'd rather just brought it back in here. It's a little easier to do it in the studio. And don't, then we don't have to worry about the camera shaking from the wind, blowing thing, things blowing away and all that fun stuff. So sorry, just taking a quick water break. Very thirsty after walking there. Okay, so let's go up the Series 2 Blaster next, and then we'll jump into the Metal Universe. Um, yeah, no, I think that uh, the Lure products did pretty well. I think we did pretty well with those. A lot of nice rookie leopard print ones, which are nice to get. That nice kind of like Michael uh, orange slice card, I will take that as well. 
obviously with this Series 2 box, uh, the big one we're hoping for, Anthony Anthony Angelo, uh, as you can see, sorry, back here. We still need that young gun for to complete the set. Very annoying. That's the only one we're missing from the whole entire set uh, to complete our young guns. If we don't pull it here or in the tin, um, we will be doing a video probably very shortly. Um, probably one of the weeks in October uh, where we just buy up a whole bunch of uh, Series 2 retail. A whole bunch of boxes and just start cracking into boxes to eventually pull that one we need. And yes, you're right, it's cheaper probably just to go out and buy the car, but I want to pull all of them. Yanni Hockenpot and a Jack Hughes Dazzler. Nice. Um, yes, pulling it is the fun of it. Uh, I think I've only bought one card out of all the Young Guns for Series 1 and 2. So that is, uh, I'm going to try and keep that the only one I end up buying. And that was the Sarangovich. It was the only one I ended up buying at the Nationals because somebody had it for relatively cheap. Vitek Vanacek, Marquee Rookie. So if I can keep, that's the only one I bought separately, I'll be pretty happy with that. I'll be pretty happy that I was able to pull all the young guns on, most of them on, on the channel. Uh, again, stuff, a couple of them we, we opened off camera and pulled like the Capris off, we pulled off camera. And of course, I have not pulled the second one up to this point, which is kind of frustrating when the amount of stuff we've opened, we only got one Capris off. But uh, yeah, no, it's just been, it's been kind of cool to be able to say that I've pulled 90% of these cards on camera. And I'm um, hoping to continue to do that with the next series, Philip Forsberg, Canvas. Um, so hopefully we can do that with 2021, 2022, uh, Series 1 and 2 as well. I'm hoping to pull all those young guns as well. And I'm hoping to do that and take you guys on that journey as we try to pull them all uh, once again. So that'll be pretty much our goal for this channel every single year is to try and pull every single uh, young gun from every single set that comes out. Obviously we pulled most, I think we pulled all of the uh, the extended series on camera, or at least most of them we pulled on camera as well, because we have that complete uh, completed extended series. Last pack of series two here, and I'll jump into those another universe. And yes, I'm blowing through the base of these very quickly because we've seen more than enough of this. Yep, yeah, looks like we got ending on a base pack here. But um, yeah, so like if we do that video, or when we do that video for the Anthony Angelo, We'll probably do that. We'll just blow through, pack, we'll rip it, pull the head out of it, and put the other cars out to the side. We won't worry about showing all the base and all that stuff because we'll open. I'm I'm leaning towards like three or four retail boxes because they're not too bad. They're not too badly priced right now. Um, so yeah, we'll probably just <laughs> rip through as much as we can, as quickly as we can, um, so we can try and pull that Anthony Angelo. So if you guys want to see, these are the odds of uh, the Metal Universe retail boxes, which you can find at Target or a local Target. Uh, $30 piece. It looks like there's five packs per. Yep, five packs per Metal Universe box. So set that off right there, maybe. So if you guys want to see the, the five packs there. Um, yeah, but like I said, uh, when we were outside of Wrigley there, if you can pull like a Caprice off rookie base or a Lafreniere base, these are not half bad priced. Uh, I think we s recently sold that. Um, the Caprizoff off base that we pulled in our live stream. I think we sold that one off on eBay for like 25-ish bucks. Someone paid for it. So I'm like, if, if you can pull one of those, it helps pay for the whole entire box, which is nice. We got a Matthew Barzell All-Star, which I don't know. I'm guessing that's a parallel for this. Does it say on the back? No, so it's just, it's like a blue parallel. I'm guessing that's for the, um, for these blasters, but we'll find out. We'll open up another one. We got a retro of Ryan O'Reilly. That's kind of cool. Here, I'll show you that universe in the back. And we got an all-star of Leon Drysaddle. But yeah, that's not that's not too bad a retro in the first pack. Would have been nice if it was a rookie retro, but hey, I'll take I'll take whatever I can get, right? I don't know what the odds are on those rookie retros. I didn't really look at the odds uh, before opening this, but we got Travis Konechny. Got a Jonathan Taze, Carter Hart. We got ourselves a Ricard Raquel. We'll put that card off to the side for kitty commentary. Ricardo Cal Blue parallel. We got a Steven Stamkos. Is that a purple? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It looks like it's a purple numbered um, 161 out of 199. So that's pretty nice. Don't know what the odds are on pulling one of those, but a nice Steven Stamkos card. Ty Delandria and Nathan McKinnon All Star. Watch, we'll put the Ty Delandria off to the side as well because that's a rookie card. 
So not a bad hit. Okay, so we got a nice all-star pal, or I should say a retro parallel, and then we got a uh, numbered parallel so far out of the first two packs. We got ourselves a John Gabriel Pajot, Rasmus Dahlin, Matt Murray in his audible outfit, Philip Deneau, Matthias Klavenix, Ricky Blue Parallel, Title Andrea Prospect, and a Tyler Benson rookie. Okay. Nice. So yeah, these these Metal Universe ones aren't not too bad for the blaster. For the blaster price, thirty bucks, not too bad. Four hundred dollars for a hobby box, I'm good. I'm good. Austin Matthews, Dominic Kubalik, Dylan Larkin, that's another kitty commentary card. Jimmy Ben Blue Parallel. We got ourselves an Intimidation, Mackenzie Blackwood, Intimidation Nation. Sorry. We got ourselves a David Perron All Star and a Kevin Lincoln and rookie. All right. Not too bad. Sorry, the camera's shaking a little bit. I'm trying to keep my hands off the table so it doesn't shake as much, but I'm trying to also get the lighting on it so you guys can see the, the, the foiling a little better. Leon Drysaddle, Sergey Bobrowski, Kale McCarr, Tyler Bertuzzi, All Star. Oh, that's pretty nice. Blue player well. Parallel, I can't speak. We got a Jake Gensel, Net Deposits. We got ourselves a. Ooh, a nice retro of Patrick Kane. That's a nice one right there. And a all-star Patrick Kane. All right. So two retros in uh, one box. I will take that. That's not too bad. So yeah, like if the hobby box was knocked down, like say it was 100, 150 for the box, maybe more more realistic. I might be willing to do that a little bit more. But uh, I'm thinking I'm going to stick with these blasters. If I, if I open up any more on the channel, it'll probably be in blaster form. If I find any more... Uh, local targets or anything like that. I will probably pick up a couple and keep them on back stock for us to open up here and there on the channel. Because I do like the retro versions. Like again, they're not. I don't think they're as cool as some of the other old designs, but I do like them. They're kind of cool looking. It is that that throwback to the '90s that um, I, I do enjoy a little bit, but just it's just not worth the the value in my opinion for hobbies. Dylan Cousins, blue rookie. That's nice. I will take that. Victor Soderstrom, prospects. And a Philip Proberg uh, rookie. All right, so we got a parallel rookie uh, and a uh, prospects. I'll take two rookies, two nice hit rookies out of that one. All right, we got ourselves here a David Pasternak, Mark Shifley, Miko Rantanen, Dylan Larkin, blue parallel, another one for Kitty Commentary, Seth Jones, purple all star, which will be numbered. 167 out of 199, so it looks like you get maybe one of those per box. Brady Kachuk and a Matthias Brome uh, rookie for the Red Wings. So yeah, it looks like you get one purple parallel per box. Collect autograph cards from top 2021 rookies. and just kind of glancing over at the box just to see if it says what your odds are for pulling one of those. Yeah, it doesn't really say. Okay, yeah, it doesn't really say off the top, but like just by glancing what the odds are pulling one of those number cards. But since we got one out of each blaster, I'm gonna go with one per Alexander Barkov, Elvis Merzlikens, Mark Stone. We got our blue parallel of Jordan Bainton All-Star. Ooh, Sebastian Ajo, retro. So that's kind of cool. And an All-Star of Frederick Anderson. Right there. For your Carolina Hurricanes. I'm curious to see how that goaltending tandem works out in Carolina, because yeah, like I said, they're both pretty injury prone. So I am very curious to see what happens with that. JVR, Alex Debrinket, oops, Josh Bailey. We got ourselves a Leon Drysaddle blue parallel. A Sidney Crosby net deposits, so that's kind of nice. We got ourselves a rookie of Jake Evans and a Roman Yossi. All sorry, sorry, I'm holding them a little higher than the light can hit. There's the Jake Evans one. All right, last pack for the video. Sorry, this is a little bit longer. But you guys got a nice little taste of all the retail product that's out there right now. You can pick up, again, Allure Blasters. Metal Universe Blasters are probably going to be a little harder to find, especially because, again, you get a better chance of pulling some decent rookie value out of it. Um, and obviously Series 1 and 2, Extended Series, all that stuff. But yeah, definitely keep checking out your local Targets, Walmarts. Again, I know in Canada, I don't think you guys have Targets, if I remember correctly. So wherever you guys are able to pick that stuff up at. But I would definitely recommend uh, these Blasters if you want to try and pick up some Metal Universe uh, over the... The hobby boxes that's my personal opinion Connor mcdavid john Tavares. we got a oh nice a rookie blue of igor serengovich i do like him i think he's gonna be really good 
Yanni Hakenpa. We got ourselves a Alexander Barkov net deposits. And our last card is a Peyton Krebs rookie card. So yeah, that's that's not bad. Those blasters are definitely, I think, worth it. For 30 bucks, that's not bad. I mean, obviously you don't get an autograph guaranteed, but hey, you can get autographs out of it, which is nice. And we got several of the retros, so at least one per box. We got three total out of two. That's that's pretty nice. Yeah, all in all, thank you again, guys, for watching. This has been Zach from Zach's Hockey Box. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the quick, uh, the, the decent opening of uh, all the retail product that's out there right now. So yeah, uh, all in all, give us a thumbs up, like, comment, all that stuff, subscribe. And uh, yeah, we'll open for you guys again very, very soon.